Hi, everybody, students. I think I figured out, be quiet, um, how to actually use my laptop to make a video. I don't ever even use my laptop, so this is like a big deal for me. I've already tried to show you how to make, um, let's see, scrambled eggs and technical difficulties. Um, dippy eggs this morning, technical difficulties. So we're going to hop right in to steak and potatoes tonight. I just want to show you real quick kind of what I'm doing. That might be too close. I don't know because I'm just figuring this out as I go. Of course, I don't know how to flip the thing, so whatever. I got these beautiful steaks right down the road from my little meat market, Danny's Meat Market. I have some mushrooms in here with some butter, a little bit of butter. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in there. I'm almost out of olive oil. And then in my other cast iron, I have some butter and a little more olive oil. I'm going to turn my burner on to about medium because you want your steaks to, you want your fry pan to be hot when you put them in there. Also, you want to make sure that you take your steaks out so they get to room temp, okay? I need to get some garlic. So, I'm going to use my favorite. Mrs. Beninati just loves jar garlic. Just kidding. She always makes fun of me because I use it. But look how easy it is. There we go. That's it. I'm working. Excuse me. <laughs> Can you get the uh, pepper for me, please? The black pepper from the table right there? No, you don't need to be on the video. Oh, no, don't. Jeez. You can come on the video if you want. Turn these on. There we go. So what I use to season my steaks with, good old garlic salt, a little bit of this zesty blend, and then, um, I showed you that, and then rosemary. That's probably backwards, right? Do you see it? Whatever. So, you want your fry pan to be hot, melt that butter. I wish I could figure out how to turn this around because right here, I got my air fryer going. Sorry. I'll show you what's in there. If you've never cooked baked potatoes in the air fryer, super duper easy start. I think you put it at 390 for like 35 minutes, but I always do a little longer. So while I'm waiting for my stuff to melt, I hope everyone's, are you going to, my husband's going to sit there and make me laugh. What do you think? I'm dumb. I don't care. Um, anyways, <sighs> people are always interrupting me. My assistant, I fired her. She hasn't really, not a good assistant. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I hope that you are continuing to read books and work on some work and I hope you're cooking a lot. So many people have sent me really awesome pictures and videos of the stuff you make and man, I am really impressed. Also, a lot of my adult friends on Facebook apparently don't know how to cook and need some lessons as well. So, um, my one colleague said I should call this, what did she say? Oh, cooking is a breeze. Get it? Cooking is a breeze. So I did actually try and make a YouTube channel. Who knows if it really worked? I have no idea. But let's try it out. Okay, I got my mushrooms going. Remember when we talked about kitchen terminology and we were going to saute. So that's what we're doing over there, sauteing. I did take a shower, so I'm clean. And I put new pajamas on. So I would say... That's a win for today. All right, my butter is bubbling. My butter and olive oil, so I'm going to take my steak and carefully put them in there because you don't want them to, all that butter and stuff in there, to splash out at you. Now, I also have no idea how long this is going to let me record for before it shuts me off. So, what I'm going to tell you is this. When you're sauteing your mushrooms, you can do them however long you want till whatever however you like them. I like mine a little bit um, not like burnt. My husband likes his burnt, so I'll cook his for a while. The steaks, you only really need to cook for a couple minutes on each side, like four, five, six, whatever. 
And then what you do with the steaks is after you flip them, you let them rest. And a lot of people don't let the meat rest. And then that's when it becomes overdone. So a little bit of that. A little bit of this. And I'm talking a couple shakes, whatever you like. Oh, something just... But the rosemary is the key, okay? Rosemary is the key. So I am going to show you this. This is cooking. It's looking lovely. It's looking lovely. My baked potatoes will be done soon. So I'm going to flip them. And then I'm going to cook them on the other side for a couple minutes. What's that? Oh, is that my light? Oh, yeah. There, huh. Um, I'm going to have to wash my hands out. I'm going to let them cook on the other side for about four or five, six-ish minutes. So I like the, the way they look. And then I'm going to let them rest for about five minutes. So hopefully now that I know how to do this, um, I can take some more videos and uh, show you how to do some more stuff. Uh, I think that's it. I hope everyone's doing well and hanging in there. And that's it. So I will... Talk to you soon. Have a great night.